Mr. Speaker, I don't want to challenge the rule. <laughs> Proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker, I was in the process of uh, thanking the leader of majority, Senator uh, Cheriot, who has moved this motion. And of course, on the minority side, I want to thank our leaders, uh, led by the leader of ma ma minority, our whip, and uh, the uh, dupid whip, and dupid majority. Uh, the duty leader of majority. Mr. Speaker, I want to go on record that uh, when this motion was uh, on the floor yesterday, this side did request that we have an informal discussion, which we did, and we did make a number of recommendations, but which unfortunately, either because of the wisdom of our leaders, have not found the recommendations that we made have not been incorporated, Mr. Speaker. And one of them, Mr. Speaker, was a proposal that our senior counsel, Professor Gender, a very respected lawyer, a former president of Law Society of Kenya, former president of the East African Law Society, former LSK representative in the Judicial Service Commission, a distinguished professor of law, Mr. Speaker, that he should have found his name as a nominee in the Committee of Justice, Legal Affairs, and Human Rights. The speaker, I saw the initial list at the name of Professor Tomo Gender, but some uh, miracle has happened, and what has been read to us, Mr. Speaker, did not have the name of Professor Ogienda. The speaker, when you have leadership, you need to be magnanimous, you need to put service ahead of personal interests. And the Senator Cheriot, leader of majority, you will go far because you have demonstrated that you are magnanimous. I've gone through the members serving in committees and you have not allocated yourself even one committee. I also want to thank the side of majority because going to the sessional committees, none of the senators in leadership have taken up committees on uh, any sessional committee membership. That is magnanimous. But on this side, the side that should be leading with example, Mr. Speaker, our leaders have allocated themselves membership in all the sessional committees. Shame on us. Shame on us. Mr. Speaker, I cannot understand a situation, Mr. Speaker, where yesterday a senator representing a very special constituency, constituents of disability, made a passionate plea that she be given membership in the committee of ICT. She has been excluded, Mr. Speaker. She has been excluded. It's a shame, Mr. Speaker. I've served in this Senate. I was here for five years, Mr. Speaker. When I was appointed chair of the Committee of Justice, Legal Affairs, and Human Rights, Mr. Speaker, I had to seat membership of the Committee of Delegated Legislation because I could not get time, Mr. Speaker, to serve in three committees, Mr. Speaker. But what I'm seeing here, Mr. Speaker, and with tremendous respect to those in leadership, distinguished senators, Mr. Speaker, is a situation, Mr. Speaker, where somebody is in the leadership, but they still want to serve in four other committees. What are we trying to show, Mr. Speaker? Leadership is not about you being greedy, Mr. Speaker. Leadership is about you giving opportunities to those who have the same qualification as you to serve. Mr. Speaker, the law students watching their professor here, professor of law, professor of gender, being excluded from membership of justice and legal affairs. What message are we sending, Mr. Speaker? Mr. Speaker, nobody is more special in the contribution that we made 
in garnering votes for our party leader, Raila Molo Dinka, Mr. Speaker. From the county of Nyamira, from the county of Kisi, we gave as much as we could, like the senator for Ision, Mr. Speaker. And I can read the figures. From the county of Nyamira, Mr. Speaker, we delivered 129,000 votes to Raila Odinga. From Isiolo, Mr. Speaker, Raila Odinga got 26,000. He lost to William Ruto, who got 32,000, Mr. Speaker. But as we speak here, Mr. Speaker, the only way you want to thank the Omogusi nation is to say that we deserve nothing, Mr. Speaker. Don't we have capacity to learn, Mr. Speaker? Even in the county of Kisi, where William Samoy Ruto got 134,000 votes against Raila Odinga at 263,000, he has rewarded the Omogusi nation with the seat of whip in the National Assembly. Because you must have regional balance, you must have fairness, Mr. Speaker. And we must speak these things because an injustice anywhere should never be tolerated. Mr. Speaker. Where is justice, Mr. Speaker, when the names that have been read today, Mr. Speaker, the next person in leadership also is in five committees, Mr. Speaker. And I want to thank the Senator for Kitui. You are a great man, Senator Wambua. You are magnanimous, and you will go far. He has only elected to serve in two committees. That is leadership. That is magnanimous. Mr. Speaker, how, Mr. Speaker, can the Senator for Makueni, Senator for Makueni, a distinguished ranking member of parliament, serving his third term, Mr. Speaker, has only been given membership in one standing committee? Can you imagine? A Senator serving his third term whereas somebody else is taking four committees, Mr. Speaker. This is not the way to go, Mr. Speaker. And I'm telling you, Mr. Speaker, this idea of uh, trying to fight people, we have tried it on this side, and we have failed terribly, Mr. Speaker. William Ruto was a member of ODM, Mr. Speaker. He was a member of ODM. He was mistreated, he left, went to church, prayed, he is now the president of the Republic of Kenya. In the last parliament, Mr. Speaker, we joined hands here to sack one of the best speakers, Senator for the Raka Nidhi, Kidure Kindiki. As we speak today, Mr. Speaker, he is waiting to be vetted to become a CS, Interior National Security. And I'm telling those who may have lined up to finish the son of Nyamukami, son of Omogusi, you will never succeed, Mr. Speaker. I'm a Christian, I go to the SDA church, I go to the Catholic church, I go to the Evangelical church, I have people pray for me, including my dear wife, Mr. Speaker. We must send a statement, Mr. Speaker, that there should be fairness from this side, the minority side, Mr. Speaker. These names as table, Mr. Speaker, even if I would be the only one protesting, I want to go on record that I register my protestations against the list as presented, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, we should walk the talk. If we are preaching fairness as a coalition, Mr. Speaker, we should preach fairness, Mr. Speaker. My coalition ODM, Mr. Speaker, we have 14 elected senators. Six nominated makes it 20. If you go to the Committee of National Security, Mr. Speaker, it has got three members of Jubilee. And Jubilee has four senators here. Where is equity there? Where? How can that be? Really, how can that be? Why not pick one wiper, one ODM, one Jubilee? Mr. Speaker, I mean, how can we allow such an injustice to be coming from the side that should be keeping the government on check, Mr. Speaker? On sessional committees, Senator Mwaruma here, Mr. Speaker, has, has made us 
a passionate plea that because of institutional memory, he should be included in the sessional committee of CPAC. But his name is not there, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to urge, I want to urge the members of majority side, Mr. Speaker, to be persuaded on the interest of all senators sitting here. If there is fairness on the side of minority, join us to push for fairness. That's my appeal to you here. And we have done that before, Mr. Speaker. This matter should be, should be given a bipartisan approach, Mr. Speaker. So that, Mr. Speaker, at the end of the day, Mr. Speaker, what we are passing here should reflect fairness, Mr. Speaker. And, Mr. Speaker, if you want to send a message to some of us from where we come from, Mr. Speaker, let us know today, Mr. Speaker, from the county of Kisi, the county of Nyamira, Mr. Speaker, our population allows us only to elect two senators. And we have produced two senators here. Do you want us to multiply through osmosis so that we have four senators from Kisi and Nyamira, Mr. Speaker? We have done the best that we can to support our coalition, Mr. Speaker. And in return, Mr. Speaker, we want to be treated fairly, Mr. Speaker. I want to see, Mr. Speaker, if the leader of minority from the other side is from my neighboring county of Siaya, if the whip is from my neighboring county of Migori, I want to also see that the people of Nyamira, people of Kisi, are also acknowledged. And I want to ask my leaders, Mr. Speaker, to listen to us, Mr. Speaker. When we have failed to listen before, the results have been disastrous, Mr. Speaker. When we have refused to listen before, the results have been disastrous. Mr. Speaker, I was in this house. I was in this house, Mr. Speaker. I was in this house, Mr. Speaker. When but, we refused uh, to listen. Uh, try to wind up kindly. The final point I'm making, Mr. Speaker, yeah, I was in one. this house, Mr. Speaker, when Senator Wambua, Senator of Kitui, persuaded us to be fair to Senator Wetangula. We didn't listen. We didn't listen. Mr. Speaker, as I conclude, as I conclude, Mr. Speaker, as I, as I conclude, as I conclude, Mr. Speaker, as I conclude, Mr. Speaker, I'm requesting, Mr. Speaker, that this House rejects these names. We go back, we adjourn, go to Kamkuji, Mr. Speaker. Our leaders listen to us. We present a list that is fair to all of us, Mr. Speaker, and that will give time to senators to discharge their functions, Mr. Speaker. So I reject, Mr. Speaker. Okay. As you sit down, Senator. Omugeni, Okongo Omugeni, you know you, you have uh, mentioned several leaders here who will go far. Now as you sit down also, maybe I think today you are guided by the Holy Spirit himself. Can you also mention others including the, the Kaduri Murongi, whether you go far, because maybe... <laughs> Maybe continue consulting your spirits before I leave the seat, then you also give me the blessings. Yes, let's now, uh, Senator who has not spoken today at least, uh, Senator Tobiko. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise to support uh, the motion. And Mr. Speaker, also appreciate the House leadership on the good job that they have done. Uh, Mr. Speaker, and I am more than willing to serve 